Hello, hello. This is all about the flat earth. Just thought I'd put together a video um, using a very good simulator called Elite Dangerous. There's a lot of uh, controversy over whether or not we should see a curvature on the planet when we get to certain altitudes. Obviously, as far as flat earthers are concerned, you don't see the curve because there isn't one. And people who follow the ball earth model continuously go on about the fact that you wouldn't see a curve until you're high enough. And we all know about NASA. NASA use things like fisheye lenses and CGI. And to, and to be honest with you, we don't even know whether there's really anything up there or not. Because by the looks of it, the whole thing is, is um, a huge movie set. So um, let's go on the theory that none of us really know the truth of anything. I thought what I would do is just use this, this opportunity to do, to do a little bit of investigating on the side of the flat earth theory because I do believe that that is the correct one to go with. Call me a nutcase if you want to. I really don't care. I'm more interested in what I can actually see rather than listening to somebody else's maths. So, let's get into it. Um, this game is called Elite Dangerous. It's a, uh, a huge, a huge game um, in the sense of you can go anywhere within the galaxy as, as we apparently know it. And you can visit just about anything that's in the galaxy that we apparently know about. So, just have a look. I'll give you an idea of the size of things. Um, <clears throat> we'll just get into the galaxy map for a second. This is showing where we are. NLTT 47967. I'll zoom into there. The star for this system is in the center. Uh, obviously, I'm, this is for people that, that, that don't know this game. So... Um, star is obviously in the centre of, of the solar system because that's the model we're we're, um, we're led to believe works. So that must work everywhere to a certain degree. And if we keep moving out, you can see that there is there it is. That's the galaxy. There's stacks of it and you can visit any one of those stars in this game. So it just gives you an idea of the scope of the thing. So my problem was I wanted to find a planet that we could go and land on that was similar in size to Earth. Um, it had to be the same mass, pretty much the same diameter, have the same gravity, and, and they're, they're not easy to find. And there isn't a list of where they are, Earth-sized planets. So you have to go hunting. And I don't mind saying it took quite a bit of time to find something like the size of the Earth. Now, I haven't got it exactly right. I've got it close. But um, let's just have a look. You can see what I'm looking at. Right, this is the system we're in. That's the planet we're docked at, which is an Earth-like planet. And this is the one we're going to go and visit. Now, let's just zoom into that come up here to this earth masses this is based on the size of the earth obviously so earth is, is, is a standard model that would be a one these would all be zeros we can go and excuse me we can go and have a look at earth in a minute radius just over 6,000 uh, yes yeah, 6,000 kilometers the gravity is a little bit up because it's 0 0.9 higher than the earth so let's just go and let's have a look at the Earth for a second and do a bit of comparing. Just go into the system map. There it is. Right, here we are. We can see. 6,378 so I think the earth is slightly larger than the planet we're going to go to um, but the mass and, and the mass is very slightly larger 
but the gravity is a little bit lower so it sort of swings and roundabouts okay let's go back let's um, just plan a route to um, to our destination that's the one right we'll launch a ship get out of the space station Twenty-five percent. Be a little bit careful with this because um, just in case anything's coming in. It's not, so we're okay. Okay. We'll get away from the space station. Our destination planet is behind us at the moment. The planet we just saw on the right hand side isn't the Earth, there's the space station. Okay. Full ahead. Now, people might whinge and complain because I am not making any cuts with this video it's raw it's how it is because I don't want anybody to say that I've edited anything or messed about with anything um, so that's entirely up to you the viewer if you want to skip ahead to see bits but um, I just want you to know that, that there's been no skullduggery involved at all <clears throat> I don't get paid billions and billions and billions of pounds or dollars to fake things so I'm not faking anything This will only take a couple of minutes to reach this planet. But we're going to land on it and it's going to be quite a slow descent and the whole purpose of it is so that you can look at the altitude and you can have a look at the curve um, on the horizon and you know as a uh, well I know that the naysayers are going to say well you can't use that because it's just a game may be the case but at the end of the day it's a sphere and we're going to land on it so you should be able to work it out from there it's not it really isn't rocket science is it Oh, we're going to overshoot. 
Got it, space brakes. We've overshot the planet. Never mind. That's because I wasn't watch watching what we were doing. Come in on the dark side. Thrusters fifty percent. Slide down a bit. This planet looks like it's been in the way of a few asteroids. Um, it's not the tidiest looking place in the universe. On the right hand side you can see um, the uh, altitude in kilometres at the moment. Or the distance away from the surface I should say. Um, and there we are at 200 Oh, sorry. Yeah, coming down to 200 kilo, uh, kilometers away, and we still have a very noticeable curve. If you were this far away or at this altitude above the Earth, would you see this curve? I don't know what the... Um, I work in miles, so me and ke uh, kilometres don't really get on too well. But I do know that that's not very many miles up, is it? Riding in now, 18 kilometres, still got a noticeable curve. Unfortunately, I've come up on a bit of a ridge around the side of a crater there, um, which is going to sort of get in the way a little bit, but we're still looking at a curve, and we're only we're 9 kilometres We're still looking at curve and we're four kilometers up.
You can't see some mountain ranges and stuff below. We're down to two kilometres now. And we're still we're, we're starting to lose the curve now. But the point of the matter is <coughs> I think the curve's still there actually, I think a lot of it now is um, we're looking at the land the, the um, hills and things like that in the way um, Slow it down a bit. I'm going to land now. Landing gear deployed. Okay. So we can find ourselves a landing spot. I'm going to be a bit careful here, not to drop down too fast. I don't want to break nothing. Here we go. Right. Let's go for a little drive around on the planet, shall we? Obviously, on any planet, it is going to be very difficult to see um, any sort of a curve from ground level. It just, it just isn't going to happen, is it? I'm getting a bit of frame rate issues here on the video. Um, I don't know why. Hopefully it will be okay. Let's, uh, I'm going to go up this hill. Get up the top of here. ones. It's got quite a high peak on it. Well, there it is, look, a nice flat horizon. Mm 
which is what you expect to see. Um, sorry. I've got some frame rate issues going on and this is not the funniest thing to drive down a hill on. Oh, nice. So there we go. There we go. So the thing to do now is I'm going to take off um, and you can see the uh, you can see then where it is that the horizon. I'm just going to go straight up um, and you, you'll be able to see then where the horizon starts to curve and at what altitude that happens. Landing gear deployed. Hmm. She got that around the wrong way. I made that three kilometers. Well, getting on for four kilometers. And you can see a curve already, noticeable curve. What's four kilometres? About two and a quarter miles, I suppose. So two and a quarter miles high, and you can already see a noticeable curve. Let's just keep going. So, there it is. 
so add a bit add a bit of forward momentum now Look outside the ship now. Have a look in the system map. Target the. Uh, uh, we can. There's a, a base on this planet, so let's just target that and see what we can do. I'm going to go and land there. And um, this is probably it. I should think. Let's give that a try. Federation base. Let's go and land there and see. See what we can find. Why am I not looking at targets on There it is. Should be a nice little flight down to the uh, horizon. Thrust is 50%. Orbital. 
capital flight engaged. Look at that lovely curve. You just don't see that on Earth, do you? Contacting Starport Control. Requesting docking clearance. Docking request, docking request confirmed. Landing pad allocation received. So there you have it. We've landed on a planet, same, almost the same size as the Earth, and you can see the curve from from not such a great altitude. I would think that um, at thirty or forty thousand feet in an aircraft on Earth, you should be able to see some sort of a curve. I would also think that. Um, a hundred thousand feet or more, which is the height of a most weather balloons get to, you would be able to see a curve. You can if you use a fish eye lens, you know, or a GoPro, plenty of curve then. Um, but I think that if you want to know the truth, you just have to look. Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video.